Hi, I'm Dan Gibby, and um, in the next uh, 40 minutes or so, we have a fantastic power pack presentation here for you, not only on the power of our high probability setup of selling options and spreads around the patterns, but I am going to focus specifically after we get through the, the basics on why selling these options with the shortest amount of time even on expiration day, provides tremendous opportunities for additional income that don't take a lot of time. So let's begin. So here's what we're gonna cover. I don't, I don't care what type of trader you are. You're a short-term day trader, you're an investor, you have a money manager. Learning the power of selling these credit spreads on any time frame you want, even though we're gonna focus on short-term today, is going to do nothing but increase the current level of success that you are already experiencing or not experiencing. I'm going to show you why we do these and how to start doing these. And they're just going to turbocharge your returns, which are easier to trade than trading stocks alone or, or any instrument, ETFs, futures, commodities, currencies, etc. And that's because of the nature of the, the premium component inherent in option pricing, which we're going to cover, of course. I'm going to show you how to generate this passive income. And this is, this is all we're focused on in shorting options on the day of expiration. We are merely calling a top or bottom in the stock or ETF for the current day. That's it. And we get paid for making that determination. Renee uh, had a great background. Thanks again for that. But it's just in sum, I've been at this for over 25 years. There is nothing you can throw at me that I haven't seen before. Just, you know, it could be a different variation, of course. And so I've learned from my errors. I love option trading because for me, there's many ways to skin the cat of success in the financial markets. I was even mentioning in, the, in our master trader green room today that I define trading success as anyone who can objectively apply their methodology to the markets on whatever time frame they're trading to consistently pull money out of the markets, even if it's, I don't care if you're looking at the moon at, at certain phases, if you can do it consistently and you have a statistical edge, then you're successful. I love trading options, both directional and what I refer to as income trading strategy, which is the focus of today's option session, because it has a huge cushion or edge, if you will, to be wrong and you still profit. My business partner and good friend, Greg Capra, we've been working together for over 20 years and he's the most phenomenal market technician I've met in my life. I, I actually, you know, sat right next to him for years, so uh, learning from him. And so we uh, mirror our respective skills and technical analysis and option trading to come up with this phenomenal, easy to teach, easy to trade, easy to manage, objective strategy uh, to trading and investing in stocks and options. Our obligatory quick disclaimer, look, it's common sense, but the SEC wants to make me tell you the obvious. Whenever you're speculating on anything in the, in the real estate market, in the stock market, we are investing our capital with the intent to make a return on it. So that involves risk, of course, but master trader, we do it again. You're gonna keep hearing me say the word objective. If you just go to Webster's dictionary, objective means presently existing in fact. It is what it is. We don't subject our wishes on wanting the underlying instrument to do something 
that's based on supply and demand, which is a reflection of the entire world's um, marketplace beliefs of, of, of what's strong and what's weak and what fair value is, we just follow the truth. Now back to our approach to shorting these options and spreads. It's the rapid time decay. I'll get into that in a moment. And we're just earning a weekly and monthly paycheck by selling these. We're going to literally get paid by selling premium, predicting where a stock is not going to go. We do trade directionally. And that is when the multiple time frames are in alignment. We're looking for a big gain and we put on directional stock and option trades. In today's session, we call it an income trade where we want to put money in our pocket for making the educated prediction based on charts that I don't care what direction it goes, it's just not going to my short strike. And I get rewarded for that. You can't walk up to the stock department and tell them that that's a trade you want to put on. They're going to say, sir, ma'am, you're at the wrong booth. All I offer is, do you want to buy it or short it? That's all I got for you. So that, that's, that's unidirectional. You got to make a bullish or bearish bias. And we do that, of course. That's in our toolkit, absolutely. Everything at Master Trader starts with the chart pattern on multiple time frames. We have another saying, no pattern, no trade. End of story. Once we do have a pattern, we decide how bullish, how bearish are we on it, and then we go to our stock and option toolkit to mirror the trade with our bias. In selling these spreads, as you're going to see, we don't have to enter them with perfection as we do with a directional trade because of the nature of we're just calling a short term top or bottom and getting paid through time decay. We love volatility. Why? Because when we sell these options, both greed and fear get overpriced. So when we sell these call and put options or spreads, we're getting paid handsomely for selling these overpriced options to the option buyer. Once we're in a trade, we're simply in trade management mode. I have another saying, I hold no judgment on a stock. What does that mean? I don't look at fundamentals. They, they're hundred percent useless to me. I'm trading stock like inventory. Once it's in my inventory, I want it to perform as I want it to perform. And I adjust my management in between. If it doesn't perform as I predicted, similar to hire an employee in your business, I fire them. I take my stop loss. The prior, uh, a presenter uh, that, you know, had a great focus on taking your stop losses. And we agree with that. A stop loss is the point, the line in the sand where we have predetermined that the trade is not working out as expected. So we kill it. Similar to pulling a weed out of your rose garden. Similar to discounting merchandise that's not selling at a retailer. All market environments, we find these trades. These are so easy for us to find every day, whatever the market's doing, up, down, sideways, choppy. This is a picture of why we like selling premium. Time decay. Options are a time depleting asset, meaning if you buy a call or buying a put option, they cost money. And the stock has to perform as expected to the buyer in a, you know, a fairly quick amount of time, depending on how long the days to expiration are, or it's losing money like a melting ice cube. We want that melting ice cube to melt as profits into our account using the charts, of course. 85% of options expire worthless. 
right there, ladies and gentlemen, should tell you something. There is a statistical edge to shorting them. Some option traders don't look at charts. And I, I pity those. I, 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 I feel bad for their followers being misled because I could look at every single one of their trade recommendations. And if they use charts, they would, they would drastically increase their returns. And that's what we do. We time all of our trades with the charts. So this, this time decay curve is showing you that into expiration, 30 days or less, 10 days or less, seven days or less, Hey, what about the day of expiration? That's what we're going to cover today. It expires rapidly. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right. Let me pick up the pace a little bit. So buyers and sellers of options. Just take a step back. They have different expectations for putting that trade on. Why do people buy call and put options? Well, they're paying money because they are speculating that they either want to buy, which is bullish, sell, bearish, something, the underlying stock, ETF, commodity, etc., within a certain amount of time. That's a directional trade for them. They want to put a little money on the line and they want a high return on capital. The sellers of those options, we are putting the money that the option buyer paid for that call or put in our pocket. And we're saying, I'll take that bet. You're going to pay me X dollars a share to say this stock's not going lower or X per share of saying this stock's not going higher, I'll take that bet and then I'll manage in between. The money is 100% ours if it expires worthless, which means it's out of the money, which means that the option buyer who wanted it to move in that direction lost and it didn't move in that direction because they don't know how to read charts like we do. And it's 100% profit. But again, we're in trade management mode. We, we don't hold the majority of our trades to 100% profitability. We're in trade management mode and we're trying to get the most, you know, milk out of the coconut, so to speak, with reducing our exposure. And the day of expiration, has the least amount of exposure because we're going to be selling options that expire today. By definition, higher probability of profit versus trading the stock alone. Why? Because the money I put in my pocket improves my cost basis. In other words, I like using the word cushion. The money I receive relative to the strike price, so I calculate my break even, allows me for the stock to go against me and I still profit. One of my favorite sayings in selling the options and spreads, and I love hearing it from my subscribers, of course. Dan. The stock went way against me and I still closed it out at a profit. That's because of time decay. Dr. Alexander Elder, famous author of Trading for a Living, among other books, highly recommend his material. Let's talk about what he said very briefly. Again, different expectations. 80 per 80, 85% of options expire worthless. He calls them the casino's gamblers. As mentioned, greed and fear drive option prices higher. Here's what Dr. Elder said. And I, I can't, I love it. I can't agree more with this first sentence. People buy hope. And what he's referring to is these out of the money puts and calls. 
So price that hope highly. And that's what volatility does in the markets. And then we're going to sell it to them at those inflated prices. So now interjecting the master trader method. That's exactly what we do using the charts. Pity, pity the option traders who don't use charts. And he adds, hey, he's never met a, a long-term profitable option trader. And he's referring to these novice gamblers who spend a little money on a big out of the money call option, swinging for the fences like an idiot. Those are the ones he's talking about. Yeah, you might win whatever percent it is, who knows, but you're constantly losing, like buying a lottery ticket. You're gonna lose, 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 lose. And you know, someday you might get a payoff, who knows. Master trader, we, we definitely teach as a directional trade how to properly buy options and spreads and legging into an iron, legging into um, diagonal spreads, but we do it intelligently where we're putting the option pricing methodology in our favor, where we still get the cushion for the stock to go against us and we profit. We do it every day in our newsletter, in our trading advisories and in our green trading room. These are what we call pictures of bullish money patterns. These, every one of these is a bullish short-term trend, bullish turning point on whatever time frame you're looking at. And then combining multiple time frames would dictate how bullish we are and what bullish strategy we put on, whether it's directional or income. But on selling a bull put credit spread, let's go. We're gonna sell a put under support, step one. Step two, we're gonna buy a further out of the money put to limit our risk, to limit the capital required to put it on at the brokerage firm, and we're gonna get a net credit for doing that. That net credit is our, max, is our potential maximum profit if it expires worthless at expiration. Again, today's show, we're talking about less than one day but we obviously teach this for as many days as you want, but because of the theta time decay, Master Trader doesn't sell options greater than 45 days. We do 45 days and less. Our Master Trader weekly options trader specializes in this picture right here. You know, we have the bear case, of course, where we're selling bear call credit spreads, but we specialize in selling these options and spreads around these compelling patterns with 10 days or less to expiration. That is all you're going to see in that newsletter, the trading weekly advisory letter. And people love it. It's a fantastic way to call a short-term top or bottom, put money in our pocket, generate passive weekly income. End of story. Today though, we're talking about doing that same thing with zero days to expiration. Here's my checklist. Let's jump into the meat of this because uh, Renee says I only have two hours to finish. So I, I want to get into this. So checklist, expiration day and times differ depending on what you're trading. So you got to, you know, you, a zero days to expiration is going to change. Like spiders have SPY, the S&P 500 ETF has multiple expirations. And you're gonna see that that's one of our go-to trades in the weekly options trader and in our green trading room. Here's what you do. You scan your personal trading universe. You scan gaps, you scan news, you scan earnings. Why? Because you're going to get high volatility for gaps and news and earnings. We have a separate high implied volatility rank scan that we look at daily to find these compelling trades. Then we merge the master trader method with that high volatility to see if there's a match. If there is, we put on the trade and manage in between. 
It's that simple, folks. That is our method. You need a method. You don't just come out into the market and and think you're a penultimate bull and get lucky. That's I, I did a recording yesterday. That's what's referred to as the the unconscious incompetent level of learning. You learn the wrong way and you think you're a hero. And guess what? Whatever profits you've earned from the market is temporary. The market will take those profits back. I, I promise you that. Then when they get to the unconscious um, competence level, I'm, I'm sorry, the conscious incompetence level, in other words, they say to themselves in honesty, looking in the mirror, hey, I'm a dummy, I'm a novice, and I know it. I'm tired of losing. That's when they find master trader. If we find a compelling setup, we're gonna short our spreads or naked, follow your trade management in between, close it into expiration if you don't want any overnight possible gap assignment risk against you, close it at a penny. There's extended trading hours for some of these things. Be careful about that. Example one, spiders. This was the sell-off in March and even in February. We, I believe in the 80-20 principle in the markets. When things line up, we hit the accelerator and we're aggressive. We made so many phenomenal trades on these spider sell-offs. This is my go-to strategy. I'm always giving away too much in these, these webinars, but that's okay. And, 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 and you're going to hear people saying, oh, proprietary, this or that. You know, come, come buy this from me. You will never hear the word proprietary for master trader. We teach you what we know. And then it's seasoning after that if you want to succeed and learn how to fish, so to speak, on your own. These sell-offs in the spiders, implied volatility spikes, you can see in the heading, 90, 96%. I am looking to sell out of the money put spreads. Here's my intraday chart, gives me an ideal pullback. I'm selling an out of the money, $10 wide put spread, the day of expiration. Folks, look at this, please. The stock is trading at around $265. This has to sink in because you should be salivating on your keyboard as I explain this. So look at the pullback on the 15 minute chart, around $260. We sold an out of the money put and we just bought an out of the, we, then we buy an out of the money put simply to make it less capital intensive. If you sold a 10 lot on this, that's $450 because one contract represents 100 shares. All I'm doing is calling a short-term bottom on the day, 450 bucks. Right there, you can raise your stop and even add to the position. Next one, I have a WRB means wide range bar engulfing, negated that bearish gap down. Now let me take a look at the intraday. This gap down on the 15 minute chart, look at that, solid, solid, solid green bars. That is strength. What did I do? When it pulled back the very next day at 11.15 in the morning, we sold, in this case, naked. Look at, look at the strike price I have circled there, 279.50. The stock, I'm just eyeballing it there, is 280.50. So it was a dollar away. That's my cushion. A dollar away of cushion. 21 cents a share, 10 lot, another 210 bucks, just for calling a short-term bottom. My stop is under the green support line. And even if I stop out a couple hours later, because of the rapid evaporation of premium, because remember, again, all these examples are zero days to expiration. Zero means the day of. I did this at 11.15 Eastern. So I have four hours and 45 minutes of risk. Well, really five hours. 
um, I'm sorry, four, it goes to 415 Eastern because the, these liquid ETFs trade to 415. So keep, keep that in mind also. And, and you know, income trades aren't going to, aren't going to allow you to, uh, you know, totally support yourself if you're wanting a hundred grand salary and quitting your job at, uh, at Facebook. Instead, these are just high probability, passive incomes. They're easy to find and trade. Our directional trades are what's designed to create wealth. Because we, you know, when we sell options, our max gain is a premium. Well, what if I have a five, 10, $20 target? That's what our directional trades are about. Another example, Boeing. Now, I mean, you could be a, you could, I could teach this to a seven year old child, how to read trend. Is it up or down or sideways? And is it extended? Yes, this is extended. Then I had a bearish retracement into that big green bar at master trader. We teach after an extended move like that. Well, actually the first bar at a consolidation around 300 bucks is what we call a wide range igniting bar. That's very bullish right there. But then when you get a similar wide, similar wide range bar like that after many, many, many green bars far from the major moving averages, that's a sign of exhaustion. So we have this on our watch list to short either the stock or a bear call credit spread like we're doing in this example. And then we aren't jumping in front of a moving train. We're looking at the intraday charts to tell me when to get on that train. And that's what this 15 minute chart did. And this was the day of expiration. Lucky for us. I call them the income trades, as I said, as opposed to directional. Look at that first 15 minute bar. Open relatively flat. I'm even showing the pre-market data in there between those dotted vertical lines. I'm getting paid 48 cents a share. 10 lot, $480. Merely for saying that this stock ain't making a new high after that 15 minute bearish bar. That's a bet I will take every day if you know how to read charts using master trader strategies. It's like a, wait, the day of expiration. It's this melting ice cube, that premium. You know, I can't say minute by minute, but you know, every 15 minutes and depending on where the stock goes, of course, because you've got directional risk, then it is melting away. The return on capital for this trade, for those of you number crunchers, the capital required to put on a credit spread is the spread width, let us cre less credit received, 5% return on my capital in one day. Now, you know what, if I tried sending a, a promotional marketing email out that said that, or if I got one, for example, from somebody, say, oh, come to my webinar and I'm gonna teach you how to make 5% return a day. I would hit the delete button so fast, but here it is, folks, it, it, this is reality. The, the, every trade I'm showing you here today, and I have thousands more to show you if we have more time, are real trades that we give our subscribers who profit with us. Now, sure, we have stop outs because we take our line in the sand. And selling options is similar to an insurance company or even, you know, a, a, a win hotel. We're collecting money over and over and over and over again. And we're going to have to pay some claims every now and then. But the math works out in a beautiful uptrend because of our high probability 85% plus success rate coupled with our management strategies is when we lose, we don't lose big unless there's a catastrophic gap against us. We stop out and we lose, you know, one to two X the credit received. So with 85% success, that's fine. 
Two hours later, we booked 50% of max gain on that one. Let's continue here. Just another example. I could, I could go over so many, but it's the same concept over and over. Use the charts, sell an out-of-the-money call or put spread, put money in your pocket, manage in between. This one, we sold you know, 30 minute low. We just said, this stock ain't going over 360, 590 bucks. Well, we closed it at a penny, so we didn't have any crazy overnight gap risk. $580 trade if you did a, a 10 lot. Now, for those option Greek people, the reason I'm saying here, gamma risk is ridiculous. There's some option traders out there that says, oh my God, danger, danger, Will Robinson. Don't ever sell short-term options. I'm like, really? Folks, the reason they say that is because gamma is one of the Greeks of option pricing, which refers to the directional risk. Well, guess what? We manage directional risk with the charts, with the master trader strategies. So that risk to them is our gift and expertise. Let that sink in. We are looking at this pattern, multiple days up, gap and crap at major resistance, then using the intraday time frame, 30 minute low, 580 bucks for a couple hours of risk? Come on, gamma risk is ridiculous to us as a chartist. Amazon, I got two examples here. We did both of them. I had a big bullish gap and, and you know, Amazon's been a beast. So these are only short term income trades. 7.6% gap up on this earnings day. I always time these with intraday charts and looking at pre-market data, which I have um, blocked off there for you. It rallied up, topping tail, sold off a little bit into the open selling right at the open. So under that 15 minute bars low, the very first bar of the day, we sold this out of the money call 1665, which is $5 over the pre-market high. That's my cushion. And I bought a further out of the money one just so it wouldn't eat up a ton of, of um, you know, capital requirement. Look at this, folks. A I mean, $1.10 a share on a $10 wide? That, that you can do the math, divide $1.10 divided by $8.90. What is that, like 13% return for a couple hours? And then you just manage in between. Look, lower lows, lower highs. There's absolutely no reason to get out of this trade. The melting ice cube is my paycheck. I wish there were expiring options every single day. <laughs> and that's, that's all I would do. I mean, it's just an incredible edge that, again, the salivating. And, and that's why spiders, because they have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Thursday on the monthlies. Uh, multiple expirations. This is Amazon just last Friday on its earnings. So just another example. It gapped up 87 bucks, almost 5%. There's my pre-market and that's resistance, right? That's pre-market resistance. First bar is Look, you know, you can see where the volume is and that vertical line. The very first bar is what? The candlestick, a little five minute bar. It's red. It's lower low and lower high. In the green room, we, we put what I refer to as my tier one trades in a thumbnail, little five minute chart. And I'm just watching them. Step one is set up on the bigger time frame. Step two is I'm waiting to strike. 
five minute low would have been aggressive, but you know, Amazon can, you know, these FANG stocks can be scary. So I wasn't that aggressive, but count another bar, green bar, another bar, red bar, the next bar is when we sold this. You see that? See that beautiful arrow? I'm, I'm just watching it. I'm watching the supply and demand being created through these candlesticks because that's exactly what a candle measures, right? We sold the $1,900 call. Folks, look, the pre-market high was 1890 So we sold it $10 higher. $10 wide, a bear call vertical, put a dollar a share in our pocket. A dollar divided by $9 is 11% return on capital for a couple hours of risk. My stop is the pre-market highs. Rinse and repeat. This is what we do. This is what we teach. In this strategy, of course, we have many other strategies, but I'm talking about this one today. And so right there, you see where I covered half. Why? Well, it kind of, you know, got a base of support. It took out the prior pivot high, but because of time decay and because of volatility contraction, on, the, on these earnings that have high volatility, we specialize in selling, you know, some people like selling these high premium options into earnings. We don't, just because it's not our desire to deal with the gap risk. Those type of traders are saying, oh, I think, um, all options are overpriced into earnings. That volatility is too high. That's fine. You know, back to what I said of if you can succeed objectively, that's fine. I, I genuinely don't care. I want everyone to, to succeed, you know, properly. That's a game we don't play. I can show you hundreds and thousands of examples where they got run over by a truck. Expected move 10 bucks, it gaps up 30. So we like selling them after we see the gap because the implied volatility is still high. So on this trade, when we covered half that we sold for a dollar, it was like 15 cents. And that's because the stock fell in our intended direction. Volatility fell. And finally, time decay. Time decay on selling an option that expires today evaporates quickly. Hence my little hourglass there. Like today, for example, if you want to look at your own charts, um, Shack, S-H-A-K, was one we did in the green trading room today. My partner, Greg, shorted the stock. It fell three, four bucks. And I was talking about selling an out of the money, bare call spread, if not naked. We could have got 45 cents a share with a dollar fifty cushion. So just look at that one on your own. That was what we did today. Now, if you want to become serious about learning how to do this, I again I gave you very, very valuable information here today because that's what we do. I I also like giving back. But, you know, you aren't going to succeed just on this one little 45-minute webinar. We have these three amazing packages that will teach you how to do this one high-probability income option trade using the Master Trader method. I have a five-module advanced credit spreads course, 97 bucks. It'll teach you just things we did today, but more in depth, more about options, calls, puts, buyers, sellers, what a spread is, how to put it on, what are the patterns I'm looking for, how do I enter it, how do I manage it, both on the bull and the bear side. 
97 bucks. The gold, I, I, this one took me over a year to make, mastering, because I, because, you know, I would find all these other examples and scenarios and make a new module. This has 12 comprehensive modules. It has everything in the silver, obviously, but much greater detail, many more examples. Specialty topics on trading ETFs, on trading earnings before and after earnings, on trading volatility ETFs, on trading news, much more on trade management. 397 bucks, it'll be the best money you've ever spent. And then finally, just because, and I'm gonna show you some testimonials here in a second. Platinum, and, and we just had so many subscribers ask us this. They said, guys, look, if I do this, will you do something for me in, in this other? So three months of our uh, green trading room and the weekly options trader, which I said, 10 days or less, everything I just taught you here. If you add the cost of those two add-ons, it's 560 bucks. So we're giving you for another $200, you get 560 bucks of um, value there. You know, I, I, just take a look at some of these, these um, testimonials. And I have, I literally have like 40 already. And the course just came out not too long ago. So just read them yourself here if, if you're interested. And I love not only giving great value and teaching people, but I love receiving comments like this because I know that I've made a difference in their life, both in terms of objectively trading the markets, but of, of having an impact for them and their family. And, you know, importantly, putting money in their pocket. So just read some of these yourself and, and, and I love them. So that's it. The time's up at 1.15. I appreciate your uh, attention. I hope you learned a lot. Feel free to email me, dan at mastertrader.com. Check out our, our Master Trader um, YouTube channel where we give tons of amazing, you know, free content on, on trading stocks and options and to trade and invest. Happy trading and have a great uh, weekend, everybody.